Hi there, it's Master Wong here, it's another beautiful day again for doing all the basic movement and training that you need to learn to understand this. So some of you watching for this, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now so I can update you with a new lesson come along, you get notification to you right away so you can start learning and training. So what this lesson is all about today, it's about when you're going out and you learn some movement and martial and stuff like that. What sort of movement you're going to use and do you know how you use them? Okay, what technique you're going to use to avoid? Now, this is a very interesting question and it's very different depending where you are in the world and what country you are in and everything like that. In this training here, I will go through some basic movement. It's about all about control because if you control somebody, it's easier for you to do things. If you're not in control, it's going to be the big problem for you. It's not about hitting, hurting them, it's about control them. Okay, so let's have a watch. Hi everyone, it's Master Wong here. I'm down in Ken here with what my brother is here, his gym. So I got one of the friend here. He want to ask me some questions. What's your question today? Hi, um, well, I'm from Dynamic Kickboxing. I'm with mm -hmm. Ish. He trains me. And um, I was just wondering, if you're not an aggressive person, when, would, when do you know when to defend yourself? So this is a very, this is a very good question, you know. The idea is, when you get in the situation first, what if when do you go to the club, uh, nightclub? Do you going out, sleep with some girl, yeah. and then the boyfriend don't yeah. like you? Yeah. So what what is the uh, what is it? Well, it could be any situation. You could be walking back, uh, boyfriend catches you sleeping with a girlfriend, yeah. or he he's aggressive, he's in your face. You don't know when to respond. You don't know when to defend yourself. How? The right okay. Time. So it's very important this question at some of you. Okay. Now, few things you need to understand. First is. Depend how, it's already depend, okay? Depend how, how they're on your face, like how, tell me, how? So say they're coming at you like this. And like this. And they're on. So you can understand, a lot of time it's about learning how to control them. Because when you control them, you can do many things with the person. If you're not in control of this person here, it's so many things can go wrong, okay? Because soon you start to hit, they move, they might grab something, and then they start to swing at you. They might got a uh, weapon on them. They might take it out and start to stab you with a knife, for instance. They might, anything they can find, because they get pissed off, okay? When you hit them, somebody, they get pissed. When they get pissed, what they're gonna do, they're gonna do something to you, okay? They're gonna grab something, they're gonna launch at you, they can do all sort of stuff. So the best thing to do is control them. When you control them, many, many things, many options is open for you. What is it you like to do? So let's have another watch. As you go through the movement, you can slam them down, put them down here. If they're coming down, you can control them where they are. It's okay, a little bit of training here of the skill. You need to control the person so you know where they are. From here, you can do many different things. It's up to you what you want to do with the person. As you're understanding the basic training that you do, everything you can use on there. It's all up to you. The, the sky is limited. It's unlimited. It's like so many things, possibility. You can do many things. It's the only thing that come down to it is can you do it can you use it okay what sort of thing can you use how you're going to use it to be able to make this work for you that's all they come down to if you can use all the thing you're learning hammer fist punching hitting if you've got some weapon for you shove it in it's everything can be done okay so let's have a quick look they're coming up they're getting aggressive Try to be like blah blah to you yeah yeah okay so if that happens you do that to me yeah i'll be like some i will be on the side here uh, talk to me, like, what's, what's the problem, man? Well, like, what's going on? What, 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 what are you here for? I'm here, just slip with your girl, man. What, what, what's what's yeah, the problem? Well, now I'm going to smash you up. Uh, how are you going to smash me up? Boom, down here, head back to your face. Break into your goddamn arm, slam you down the ground down here. Break your face as well. Now you can slip with this girl better. <laughs> yeah? So, the idea of this is, it looks very simple, but positioning. Now, when I say positioning, meaning if I here, so if you certainly need me to the nut, it's, it's not going, see? Okay? Secondly, if your hand rise up beyond me, it's a problem because it can hit me. I will be here. I want to be inside here. And secondly, I hold this. Okay? Soon I hold here. What do you do when I hold your hand like this? So you try to move, yeah? yeah to Soon you move, I'm going to headbutt him into the chest. I'm not headbutt him in the chest. I'm going to headbutt him in the fucking face like this. And then I'm going to knee him straight in the nut like this. Okay? And afterwards, I'm going to put the elbow here. Because I hold you and you start first, putting your hand up, yeah. put your hand up, I have the right 
to smack your face in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. because you raise your hand up. Sorry, man. If you see now, now, to raise your hand up. If I'm here, I'm here. You see what I mean? Now I'm gonna break your cutter mom. Yeah. Now I grab you down here. Okay? So do something from here. So you move, when you move, yeah. I shut down your face. Yeah? Boom to your face here. Knee to the nut here. Now I got this arm. Now pull this arm out. It's hard, yeah? Because if you pull, I will slam you down here. And then now you're in a position like this. And then my arms. See what gone. happened with yeah, it literally. <laughs> what happened from here? I can't. Oh. <laughs> you're gonna snap it. Because soon you move. Yeah. It's going to be bright, and then yeah. I do nicely put him in this position here, grab him like this. What are you going to do from here? <laughs> more, he, more, more you move, you see my knee? Yeah. More you move, move. More you pressure coming in, you see? So this is why you keep an eye, make sure with no weapon, and because you sleep with this woman, just check out, he got a big one. <laughs> if he have the smaller one, you're lucky, because that's why they're chosen you, they didn't chose him. <laughs> So that's a big problem, but that's a basically that's what is it on this uh, on on it all the time positioning. Yeah. And monitor the shoulder. Yeah. Okay. So we walk into me monitor the shoulder, monitor. Sh but because of the hand didn't raise up, so you monitor the shoulder. It's easy to grab a knee headbutt. Or if the hand rise, you come in here, bring it closest, drop your body lower, and then headbutt. Okay. That's the thing. And if you hear, how you free yourself from here? It's a lot of uh, pressure, yeah? yeah? So if you try to go up like that, I let go, and then bam, down here, smack on your face. Yeah. Too much. Grab on me. Very easy. Grab tight. And all you gotta do is just move the hand like that. Smack on here. Rip his skin. Rip his Grab his nut. Rip it off. Smack on his face. Smack on his nut here. No. Smack on his face here. And then do the same again. Grab hold him here. And head back. See, it's like... It's a lot of shit you can do, innit? Yeah. <laughs> it's a... Grab that. Grab every time. See how easy that is? And then, I'm broken. Try that. So, over. Go. Out. <coughs> no. Yeah, grab. <laughs> so, it looks so simple. Yeah, it does. Grab tight, grab very tight. Yeah. So it's hard, but go move it up in hard. I move it on the side. You see? Right, okay. Okay, try that. So, Move. You have to bring the fist in, yep. and then now pull, and then move. Now rip, see, on the side. Sure, yeah. Zip case, yeah? So that's it. Is it? It's good. Did answer the question? Good. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah? Yep. Because there's a lot of time, yeah? If the hand, if like this, yeah? If somebody's gonna hit you, like this, okay? It's, a, it's hard, yeah? So it's not, that's when it get. And that's what it's all about. It's really you, the one, dictate when the situation or it is. Okay, if you're going out into the nightclub, you use the movement, you don't want to bash them up and punch them and then you can't kind of cut and then the police come and pick you up. Or if you go into the birthday party with somebody, if something like this happened, you're not going to want to do that. You're going to use an elbow, you're going to use something else, you're going to more like in control because he might not want to hurt you. He just want to have a little bit of, you know, uh, talking to you and few bit and pieces. I get this a lot when I travel to different part of the country. People are just going to be friendly, but I don't know the friendly or not, so I don't want to come in and bash them up. I just control them, put them in the places. If they move, I'm more in control of them. So they're not going to hurt themselves. That's uh, that's the important part. They're not hurt themselves. But the worst is, I don't hurt them. I don't want to hurt them. I don't want to really piss them off, you know? So all this thing here is important. Another thing as well, need to learn as well is, in this situation, you need to identify, is it in the street, in a different scenario? Is it hostile or non-hostile? Okay, and you got to understand this because you don't want to get into this situation. So you know what to use and what not to use. And to do that, it's all about go back to the basic training. Okay, it's all to go back to the training that you do. The more training you do, the more you own the movement, the more you know about it, you know about yourself. That's why a teaching thing is very simple. Okay, know yourself, know your enemy, know your ability and know your surrounding. Okay, if you're understanding this basic here, everything you do become easy because you know yourself. You know what you can and can't not do. Know your enemy. They know that. They're friend, foe. You know that. Okay? Ability able to hurt them or not hurting them. Control them or, or not. You got that. Ability to do that. Okay? And then surrounding. It's where you are. You can be in the street. You can be in a pub. You can be in a nightclub. You can be in your bedroom. You can be in the in your house, it can be anywhere and everywhere. You need to identify the situation. It's all about awareness. 
okay and it go back to the very very basic rule okay it's time place and a method of attack let's go back to the basic rule all of this i've written a book called the event changing everything check them out and you can understand more about it okay so while you go through them learning the movement look at them any question that comment below here and i try my best to helping you to uh, answer some of the question otherwise if you want to learning some of my uh, full training program on our system um, Wing Chun Tai Chi self-defense and instructor training programs then check out our website masterwong.tv I got all the things there for you the, each one is one month training program they have everything laid out for you properly so you can training and learning and then you progress as you go everything sorted out so it just beautiful every day you come in don't need to think about what you're training you just go through uh, each stage and then you're getting better and better and better all the time and that way you can do anything you want to do because you control your destiny you control your life you're the one out there okay you the one have to face the real dragon so you need to make sure you got some tool with you and make sure it's sharp so you can able to use it okay and that's what there is check us out on the master on top tv otherwise i will see you on next lesson